Hey guys! For today's video, we're going to be making this cute jellyfish crystal pendant. I kind of wanted to make a jellyfish aquarium, but I thought it would be fun to put it inside of a crystal, so I really hope you'll enjoy. First, you just want to take some scrap clay and cut out the shape for the crystal. And once you're done with that, you can pre-bake. After baking, I glazed it, which is going to help so that when you make a mold, it's going to get a really smooth finish. You then want to take the side of the crystal that you want to face up and put it face down onto a sheet of clay, cut off some of the excess and then build a wall around it. And after baking that, you can then make the mold. The mold putty I used is by the brand that makes the amazing mold putty, but it's the rubber version, which is a lot more elastic. And don't worry, if you don't have this, you can also use any other type of mold putty. One set, remove the clay. Next, I mixed up and poured in my resin, and the reason why I'm doing it now is because it has to set for quite a while, so you're really only making the waiting time shorter by doing it now. Set that aside, and you can then start making the jellyfish. The color I mixed was mostly made up of translucent, if you want your jellyfish to be more visible, you can either use a more vibrant color or a darker shade, or just use less translucent. I wanted mine to be on the more subtle side, so I did use quite a bit. I made and baked the two parts of the jellyfish separately, and then after baking, I glued them together. I then added a tiny bit of shading, first using some white acrylic paint, and then I went in with some Pearlex pigment, and for the pigment I applied it by mixing it with clay so it wouldn't come off. Back to the crystal, I first added some Pearlex pigment and some Mylar sheets.
Add the jellyfish and set it aside. Once cured, take it out of the mold and then add any type of decorations you want. I applied a thin layer of resin on top which is going to make it sticky and I then added some jewelry wire as well as some rhinestones and some pearls. Use some of the excess wire to make a loop, then add a jump ring and a chain, and you're done. 